Afghanistan's Taliban rulers have intensified their draconian anti-women campaign by ordering an indefinite ban on university education for them. Sixteen months after the Taliban made a cakewalk entry into Kabul in the face of a disastrous U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan after nearly 20 years, Afghan women have to suffer the worst anti-women impulses of the rulers. Rosa Otunbaeva, the new UN Special Representative in Afghanistan, as well as the Chief of the UN Assistance Mission in Afghanistan, has been quoted as saying, and I quote, the prevention of secondary education will mean that in two years there will be no girls entering university. This decision is extremely unpopular among Afghans and even within the Taliban leadership, unquote. Meanwhile, Eric Fitfeld, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Norway, the point country on the UN Security Council's work on Afghanistan, too, has expressed serious concerns about the plight of Afghan women. For the past two years, Norway has been penholder on the Security Council's work on Afghanistan. This has been a challenging time for the country as well as globally and for the Security Council. As Foreign Minister of Norway, I'm encouraged by the ability of this council, even in difficult times, to find solutions to a politically challenging situation. By adopting the resolution on the UN mission, we have provided it with a strong mandate. The main focus of Norway has been to bolstering international support for the Afghan people. As we stand here, Afghan people are facing yet another brutal winter. People are freezing, people are starving. More than two thirds of the population desperately needs humanitarian assistance. The situation for women and girls in particularly is particularly difficult. On many levels, women have basically been erased from public life. This is not only a human rights crisis. It is also bad for economics to exclude half of the population. This council has expressed concern over the increasing erosion of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms of women and girls by the Taliban. We must never stop telling the Taliban how equal participation in public life is non-negotiable. Allowing equal education for all girls and boys is a crucial area. This was our clear message to the Taliban during consultations in Oslo at the beginning of this year. We believed that it is necessary to talk to those in power and that it is possible to have this dialogue without giving legitimacy to the Taliban. Norway has also consistently, consistently provided platforms for women human rights activists, political leaders, and civil society representatives in Oslo and in the UN. Instability in Afghanistan is also a threat to international peace and security. In the year ahead, the Security Council must clearly communicate its expectations to the Taliban on human rights and stability, on dialogue between Afghans, and on counterterrorism. The Afghan people need peace, and they need it now. Norway will continue to stand by their side. Thank you.